Hello everyone, it's Living Online here for Server Pro. And recently Mojang released Snapshot 22 W15A. I'll be showing you the most important additions in this video, so if you want to find out what's included, just keep on watching. The most significant change in the snapshot is that a new warden attack has been added. Previously, some players thought that getting away from the warden was pretty easy. However, now if you build high up, hide behind walls, or go out of range of a warden's melee attack, it will cause it to switch to its ranged attack. If you taunt the warden and try to escape, they send out a sonically charged shriek that can even penetrate walls. That's right, the warden's attacks go through walls now. If you thought that was it though, wardens can now also sniff a player from even further away. The vertical range wardens get angry at a target while sniffing is now 20 blocks instead of 6. There have been a couple minimal gameplay changes. One of those is that on Minecraft's main menu, the background has been changed to an image of the wild update. Another change is that mud now generates all the way from the surface down to stone and mangrove swamps. This is in contrast to the last snapshot where only the top layer of the biome would be mud and the layers below would be dirt and stone. Moving on, there are two new advancements in the snapshot. Firstly, if you use a lead on all three of the different frog types you can get, you'll get a new achievement called when the squad hops into town. Secondly, if you sneak near a skulk sensor or warden to prevent them from hearing you, you'll get a new advancement called sneak 100. There were a ton of bug fixes in the snapshot. A set of bugs that kept occurring were bugs relating to not being able to place down items on mud blocks. For example, in the previous snapshot, you weren't able to place bamboo, big drip leaves, or even flowers on mud. Not only that, you couldn't place vines, glow lichens, or skulk veins on the side of mud blocks either. Thankfully though, the developers have fixed those issues in the snapshot and you can now place those items correctly on mud blocks. In the previous snapshot, whenever a mangrove tree was grown underwater during world generation, there would be a chance that the roots wouldn't be waterlogged. This was random and didn't always happen, but thankfully that has also been resolved. There were some issues with wardens and new features introduced in the last few snapshots. Firstly, if you placed a Skulk Shrieker down in a one block space of water, the water would disappear despite Skulk Shrieker blocks being waterloggable. In this snapshot, that issue won't occur anymore though. As you can see, the water doesn't disappear now and the Skulk Shrieker becomes waterlogged. A concern with wardens in the last three snapshots was that wardens would despawn when far away from the player. If you angered a warden and then ran away, the warden would just randomly disappear. This made no sense as the only way that wardens should have despawned was by playing their digging into the ground animation. Fortunately, this bug was resolved and wardens should no longer vanish without playing their despawn animation. Those are all the major changes in Snapshot 22W15A. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see more from my channel. Don't forget though, if you'd like to create a free server for Minecraft to test out this snapshot with your friends, you should head over to server.pro or click the link in the description. Thank you for watching!